Coming up, we have Mission 2016 with Josephine. and welcome to Mission 2016. My name is Josephine Frimpon. Last week, we highlighted on some expectations of women in rural communities in a run-up to the election 2016. This week, we throw the searchlight on some policy issues that will inform the choice of voters. So now on our first story, in a run-up to the elections 2016, some youth in the central region have employed the political parties to focus on job creation. The youth believe the effective implementation of the already existing youth on empowerment policies is also key. The dream of most youth in Ghana is to get jobs after attaining tertiary education. But it appears that dream has become an illusion. Currently, it's estimated that over 200,000 graduates in Ghana are jobless. 27-year-old Richard Arthur graduated from this faculty here at the University of Cape Coast three years ago, but has since remained unemployed. I don't know how to describe it now. I, I, I survived. Since I did education, it's the education that I've been applying for, like teaching. What they have been trying to tell me is there is a ban on it, so unless they leave the ban before they can expire. The fishermen sometimes you can uh, you aqua aqua you waste away and you know the bath from another one point, which is very embarrassing. Being the only child of his mother, his headache has always been how to cater for himself and his jobless mother. Investing in her son's education was a wrong move if she knew things would turn up this way. I'm very worried my son is still unemployed. It was my aim that my son get a job after school to take care of me during my trying times. Richard recounted stories of a number of his mates and seniors from the same university, some of whom currently find themselves in very terrible situations due to the lack of jobs. On the University of Cape Coast campus, the story of Richard did not come as a surprise to student. Richard is not the only one who finds himself in this situation. Thousands of youth annually graduate from our various tertiary institutions but are unable to find appropriate jobs to do due to the lack of job opportunities in the country. But for those who are yet to graduate from our various tertiary institutions, how will this situation inform their decision come November 7? It's pathetic that National Accreditation Board continues to give accreditation to uh, investors into education, particularly those in private universities. So these people graduate and go out and do what? So in a country that we have graduate unemployment association, we are growing disaster. It's a recipe for political upheavals. They should lift the ban on unemployment, they employ us into those public sectors because when you go to a public sector, that's where you know you are rest assured that, oh, for this period of time I can work. Policies that can establish jobs for us so that by the time we complete school, we have somewhere we can fix in. The interest rate that banks are charging is around 30% and 28%, which is making the cost of doing business very high. We're looking at for a government who will be able to solve that problem, which will affect the interest rates or how businesses will grow. And I think if businesses are supposed to grow, that's when they will invest more and they will be able to employ more people into. As political parties prepare their manifestos, it is obvious that job creation shall be a key policy issue on their scale of preference. With just five months to the general elections, residents of Amonsema in the central region are expecting that politicians will fulfill their long-term promise of fixing their road. Kwabna Edujenfi reports that the poor nature of the three-kilometer road is affecting every aspect of their lives. If you have ever embarked on a journey through the central region, then surely you may have come across an array of women selling kinky along the shoulders of the street. 
Majority of what you see displayed here are from Amosma, a village situated in the Abra Dunghau district. In this village, one major business for women is the production of kinke, which they also distribute to some senior high schools like Adisado College and Holy Child Senior High. Their only source of livelihood is now on the verge of collapse due to the deplorable nature of the only road which links the community to the main street. The road is the most important thing to us now and the current nature discourages drivers from transporting our kinky. In the quest to attain power, politicians have over the years promised to solve the situation but end up disappointing the community. This time, if they don't fix our road, we will not vote. For the news crew, traveling on the road for the first time was a daunting task. The reaction of commercial drivers here was an indication they needed a listening ear. Pregnant woman has once given birth in my car due to the state of the road. The only health facility in the village is this chip zone, meaning all emergencies have to be rushed to the biggest nearby facility, the Mori Health Centre. Head of the facility, Juliana Aban, confirmed the situation. Some do deliver on the way before they get to the hospital. We get uh, some bleeding cases miscarriages mm -hmm. because of the bad nature of the road and when you come to the general side um those with severe conditions sometimes by the time they brought them to the hospital they are already dead every year when we write the annual report we write it in our report it was not clear when construction of the road would start but the district chief executive of abra asebu kwaman kese frank pratt spoke about current effort being made by the assembly to construct the road since i entered this office my checks and other things revealed that there was problem with funding so it has been given out again. I did, I instructed that, the president instructed me that I should look for somebody to do the quantities and other things. And we have done all those things and I've sent them to Accra. So the hope is that yes, it will be fixed this year. Road infrastructure is very important to the country's economy and for residents here at Amosman in the central region, the state of this particular road before November 7 will determine the political party who wins in this area. Reporting for TV3, my name is Kobna Edu Jemfi. So you can, send, you can send your comments to our various social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, News on TV3. On Mission 2016, we promote responsiveness and accountability. Thank you for staying with Mission 2016. Join us same time tomorrow on News on TV3.